हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज़ ध्रुव चावला सो द टास्क इज़ टू अपग्रेड द करंट थ्री लाइट थ्री स्टेट ट्रैफिक लाइट सिस्टम टू अ फोर लाइट फाइव स्टेट सिस्टम टू एड्रेस एन इंक्रीजिंगली हैवी डिमांड फॉर लेफ्ट टर्न्स एट अ बिजी इंटरसेक्शन इन डाउनटाउन टोरंटो द इंटरसेक्शन विद थ्री लाइट सिस्टम लुक्स लाइक दिस we also added a few additional functionalities such as request to walk pedestrian button and the car sensor first let us examine how the spotlight works there are initially three states in the spotlight red amber and green there is a timer of 130 seconds for all colors to flash and they each flash consecutively 60 seconds are initially attributed to green 10 to amber and 60 to red Now the way a traffic control light works is it counts from zero to the amount the color is attributed. Sixty seconds for green, for example. Now this system has caused a lot of traffic jams in that area, and we must upgrade to a better system. The solution we came up with is a four light five state system. We want to change. We want more colors. we need solid green with an advanced green arrow and a solid green with advanced amber arrow like so we must stay true to the specifications of the original length of the spotlight loop 15 seconds for solid green plus advanced green left arrow 5 seconds for solid green plus advanced left amber arrow 40 seconds for just solid green 10 seconds for solid amber and 40 seconds for solid red with the new version of a traffic light we want to account for pedestrians now this is where we get into some functionalities the pedestrian button is going to look like this we are not worried about how it works we are worried about how we are going to integrate it into our program it only works during a red light whenever someone presses the request to walk button the waiting time reduces to 25 seconds now this only happens when the timer is already greater than 25 seconds when red the light will count time the way it normally would but within every second it will also check for a button press however if the loop is below 25 seconds it stops checking because there is no point in checking it will just add more time from that point onwards incidentally the other functionalities we want to add to our new version of the traffic light are all very similar and would best fit within this counting loop the new light has a traffic sensor it keeps track of the number of cars when the number of cars exceeds 6 we want to be able to set the remaining time to 25 seconds we can also check for more conditions including the last one we want to check which is our interrupt the interrupt is any event that might happen that is an emergency that we want to be able to check it could be any exterior method that we want to put into this placeholder it's different because we have to check for it on both sides of this loop if there is any interrupt where let's say we flash all red or all amber the system has to reset after that interrupt now this is our flow chart We start off with a solid green plus advanced green left arrow for 15 seconds. We then go on to check if there is any interruption and if there is no interruption we check if the 15 second timer is complete. If it is not we go back to the interruption. After the 15 second timer we go on to the solid green plus advanced amber left arrow and set the timer for 5 seconds. We then again perform the same steps and check for interruption we then go on to solid green only and set the timer to 40 seconds and do on the same interruption and timer settings we then go on to solid amber only and set the timer to 10 seconds and check for interruptions and the timer completion at last we go to the solid red only and set the timer for 40 seconds now this is where our new solution comes to place During the solid red only we check if the number of cars waiting 
are greater or equal to 6. If yes, we check if the timer is greater than 25 seconds. If both the conditions are true, we set the timer to 25 seconds. And if it's false, then there would be no change. If the number of cars waiting are not greater than 6, we check if the pedestrian request to walk button has been pressed. If yes, we then again check the timer if it is greater than 25 seconds. And if both the conditions are true, we set the timer to 25 seconds. And if not, there is no change. Like all the cases, we check again for the interruption and if yes, we check what kind of interruption it is. For example, if it is a 4-way stop, we flash all red or if it is a yield or caution sign, we flash all amber. At the end after the interruption, the system resets or powers off and starts again and that's where our flowchart ends. We hope you like our solution. Thank you for watching.